Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9. This is Sleepy Edition, because I, I just got up. And, uh, yeah, I got the, another day off today, so I thought I'd have a go at this. So, between episodes, Mr. T has been along. Mr. T's amazing, honestly. And, uh, he has upgraded my forge for me. And then, that inspired me to try and automate this a little bit more, right? You can't automate putting this in and then, you know, doing... You can't automate this, the forge itself. But I figured out a way of automating all of the pedestals with modular routers. So, if I press this button right here... It even does the little hammer click. How cool is this? Oh, I do need to go in and replace the diamond each time and get the uh, stellar Eterna out. Or Eternal Stellar, sorry. Um, but the way that I fix this is I set these to redstone mode pulsed. So that means every time this gets a redstone pulse, it will do its operations. So in this case, it will place like the, uh, what, what do you call this? The X petrified or the, um, what do you call this? Uh, stellarite or whatever. So oh, ooh, if we hover over stellarite piece. Yeah. And this one here is just right-clicking with the uh, gavel right there. So I, I think this is kind of cool. Um, I did have a quick look at, I think it was Dewstream. Dewy Stream. How do you say it? Yeah, that. Um, I, I looked at their video and uh, they also were <laughs> struggling to automate this. But at least this is like semi-automated. Uh, they were using... Oh, what's what's the name of the mod? Integrated Dynamics, which I think that's a good idea, and we should probably do something with that. If I can figure out how to pull out the uh, the diamonds and on or put the put one diamond in there and then pull out the Eternal Stellar, this would be automated via a a button click. So we just button click and then wait for it to finish and then do another button click. We could even do like every three minutes pulse this. I think that would be kind of cool. And that way over a certain amount of time, it would take like a couple of hours, right? We would get all of the Eternal Stellar. It's a pretty good idea. The main thing that I completely forgot was a thing was the redstone mode pulsed. This was the thing that I was struggling with last episode. Um, from what I hear, the reason that you upgrade this... Oh, T put like, all the souls in for me as well. Oh, absolute legend. Oh, I uh, I also I changed these out today. So I realized we only need four of these pedestals. So the arcane crystal obelisks, I, I just put two more down. Because I was like, that should get us more. Uh, what's this called? Oriole. Although it doesn't seem to be going up, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, I'm drastically low on blood, though. How much blood does this take? Doesn't seem like that much, you know. So what we could do is just have this going for a while. The thing that's annoying about this is... Um, well... I don't have my hammer anymore. That's how I used to kill all the chickens, was the hammer. I had a little little bit of a brainwave yesterday and mob crusher or is it cr crusher mob crusher I wonder if the mob crusher would do it like cuz they are are they dying or are they just being deleted that is the question isn't it so if i have a mob crusher and i turn this on when the chickens go away, does it does it count? I suppose what I could do is if I get a mob yoinker. Uh yoinker. Oh actually, have I got anything in here? Starbuncle. I don't really wanna Okay, I don't. I'll go find a mob. I'll put this down, I'll give it some power. How does this place? I think it places away from you, right? So if I do that. Yeah. Okay, so if I quickly get a gate on this, that means anything in this area right here, because it's it's always like a one, one by one. 
when you first start. Gotta give it some upgrades for it to like expand, right? So I am gonna get oh, what do I need? I need a mob. Yeah, let's go find I'll tell you what, I could use one of these mobs, couldn't I? So if I turn that on. Turn it off again. Let's grab the deepling priest. And let's grab that out. So four four ninety. Okay, so if I stick Deepling Priest right there, he won't move. Still 4490, so that actually doesn't work. That's a pain. It's a big old pain. Fine. Uh, so Mob Crusher won't work. We need something that will like do damage, actual damage. I mean, we could use a, uh, a Modular Rooter again. Another Modular Rooter, jeez. With like a netherite sword or... Oh, we could use an all the modium sword because it's got infinite durability. This uh, all the modium sword, by the way, or infinite durability swords, is the best way, I think, of uh, doing like... So it's, it's hard to explain. If we, uh, if we pop back, back downstairs. So we've got this right here with the mob crusher. Remember we were trying to use uh, like modular rooters with swords in them to like kill everything at one point apparently that is the best way if you uh if you have loot pinata on all of the swords like you get loads of drops and loot pinata does like does happen so if we just have this where, where i've got all of this crystal or quartz fence if we just change it out at least this like bottom bottom two rows we change it out for modular rooters with like all the modium swords with loot pinata. That's actually better for us because it's less laggy, funny enough. It's less laggy than the uh, mob masher. And if you put like the highest level of fortune on there as well, on the swords, yeah, it's even better. I, w I, I should probably go show you uh, what Mr. T ended up doing. So let's pop over to Mr. T's base. So if we hop down here, over here is where all of his... Uh, all of his stuff is on. I like that he's using tiny redstone. It's a really good idea. He's got an absolute butt ton of spawners, as you can see. And these are all invoker spawners right here. And then in these... Oh, he's using a unobtainium sword, even better. Wow. But as you can see, these have all got... Does that one not have loot pinata? Maybe it does. Wait. Nope, not that one. Uh, not that one either. Wait. Looting enchantment level 255. What the heck? And sweeping edge. Sweeping edge. Okay. I'm confused why he was getting a bunch of loot pinata then. That's very strange. Maybe one of these has got loot pinata. Could have sworn, because you could see the loop in your eye happen. You know, it does the little explosion. See? That's, that's like loop in your head. Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? You know what he needs right here? He needs one of those gemstone thingies, whatever they're called. I'm just going to... I'm nicking these, by the way. These are mine now. Thank you. Gem stone torch. Turn these off uh, when they were all at 400 plus. Sativa. Ah, got ya. Okay, I'm putting these gemstone torches down. It gets rid of vengeance spirits in a certain area, right? So you hear these are going like. That's because there's a bunch of vengeance spirits in there. I'll tell you what, I can show you that it gets rid of the vengeance spirits if I turn this off. See, it's doing the loop pinata sound, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. Oh my goodness. That was literally like one second of me turning that on. Uh, you get barely any uh, diamonds or emeralds from the cave creepers now. So that was a bit of a pain. I don't know what this one is. Enderman, maybe? Drowned witches. 
See, now this one here is not continuing to swing because vengeance spirits aren't there, but this one's still got vengeance spirits. Okay, I am going to put... Well, I'm going to make a... Yeah, I'm just going to upgrade this until I can't upgrade it anymore. So one of those, one of those, one of those. So we got an unobtainium sword, and now I'm going to enchant this with sweeping edge and looting I think sweeping edge because if you have loot I specifically made sure this didn't have loot pinata but if you have loot pinata this one's actually really good because it's got the uh, deals five damage to nearby enemies amazing actually if you've got loot pinata it doesn't proc the sweeping edge sweeping edge so we get a sweeping edge what else do we need we need uh, I'll tell you what we could do this couldn't we oh and I forgot yeah, we want to make one big book. Knowledge of ages. Yes, I want that because I don't want the drops. I might as well put looting on there. Let's get... Why not? Severing and sharpness and sweep an edge. I like that. So knowledge of ages just like deletes all of the... Uh, the what, what, why did it not let me... It said it was fine, and then it didn't. Damn it. Okay, there's something on there which it doesn't like. Okay. I'll uh, I'll try and find a book that I can use. Okay, I removed severing, which was the... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, if we do this now, I can start filling this up with blood, I hope. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. That's a lot of, like, uh, chicken death right there. I'm going to kill all of these. Eh. Go on. There we go. Ah. I didn't put a gemstone torch down here. I probably should have. Let's put one down. There's a load of vengeance spirits right here. And my, uh, my two sheepies over here, or whatever they're called. Beans 1 and Beans 2. Still alive. Amazing. Right, how many bits of blood did that get us? Oh, not much. Jeez, we have to do this for ages then. Okay, I did some calculations and I need 54 more of these Stellar Turner because I've got 18 so far and I need 72 overall. So, this is going to take me a while, but and it does take quite a while because we're on the server. If you're doing this on single player, this should go a little quicker. Because we got, you know, the TPS issues. TPS. Slash TPS, I should say. A little better today. It's not, this is not great, though. It would be nice if it was at 20. But what can you do, eh? Everyone's doing, like, lots of stuff on the server. Jury Stream did, like, quite a bit with, um, well, what they called it? Entangled Blocks. This is super cluttered. I probably should have done the Entangled Blocks thing as well, if I'm honest. But, meh, it's fine. Uh... Okay, so that's that one. If I just do that again. See, I need some way of automating putting the diamond in and taking the stellar returner out. Without going into integrated dynamics because... Like, I'm trying to automate things so I can be lazy about it. But I'm too lazy to get into integrated dynamics right now. There's the player simulator, right? I think that's what, they, that's what Dewey uses. I'm not entirely sure, though. Uh, I should probably go watch his full video. So there is this thing called the link controller, which you shift right click on one of the, uh, what do you call it here? Redstone links. And I think if I'm over here, is that doing it? Okay, how do I get it? Is it down? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Love it. So you just activate this and then in my case, I clicked S which is down. So if we do shift click, you can see what's in here. So down is the one that we want. And that's really cool. That means that I don't even really need this over here. I can just do like click down and then job done. So I'm going to get rid of this. And then I'm going to test it out once this one's finished to see if I can 
just add the diamond. That does give us an extra face that we could interact with the uh, the forge with. And I don't want to remove the sign because Mr. T was so nice uh, upgrading this for me. If you want to know how you upgrade this, so uh, forge. If I do it properly, there we go. This is how you do it. So you start off with this one and then you add like all of these bits and then you get this and so on and so on. Uh, what you need to be wary of is like it requires souls and aureole the entire time. So like blood, a lot of blood right there. Souls, aureole. I know Mr. T had like loads of aureole bottles. So that's probably how he did that. And blood, he probably used this with like a sword like mine. So if I put this one in, can I just do... I can. Amazing. So I uh, I automated this again. This modular router... Why not? Always modular router, right? Uh, it's just got an activator module. In fact, I'll get a new activator module. So active... Activator module. I'll show you on a new one. So if you put this to... Uh, attack nearby enemy like that. Uh, I just did that. I didn't even need a security upgrade. Interesting. Uh, energy upgrades and some speed upgrades like that, and then job done. That is. It's just attacking and attacking and attacking, and my blood is going up in here. You can see it. I think I have to click off and click back in for it to update. But there you go. So now what I can do is. Turn that off. My god. The TPS. I probably shouldn't have done this, but the TPS go <laughs> mental. Okay, I'll stop that for now. Uh, but that is getting us a bunch of blood. And what I should do is just have that on. Yeah, like that. Meaning that I'll have to turn that back on when I want to turn this back on. Oh my goodness. I Why did I not think of this? Mod yeah. you, can, you can use time in the bottle on this. So... I could just do this real quick now. Okay, this this has just sped everything up. Thank you, Sativa. Sativa just popped over and was like, why don't you make automated blood and you can time in the bottle this? That's his time in the bottle that he's used on there. Oh my God, Sativa is being an absolute darling and he's replacing the diamond for me. He's getting all the eternal stellars. Okay, so we can mark that one off the list. We can mark the souls off the list. Uh, I need to do all the crafting for this. Infinity nuke. We've already got, like, everything sort of crafted in here. Oh, did I already make all the infinity nukes? No, I made all the wither thingies. Made all of these wither builders over here. So if we look in there, it's got all the bits. So, uh, what was the other bit? I need to make infinity nuke. Ah. And it's got a weird recipe, so nuke. If I do that right there. That should be the recipe, although it needs a few other recipes, right? So like uh, tier 12 add-on, this one. So, and it looks like it, it. it's not like it doesn't work for the recipe. So if we just make one tier 12... That does stick everything in there, which is really good. And then I can use ah, oh, does it does it get pulled back in? It does. Okay. So tier twelve. I can use this for this recipe. So if I do that, plonk that one in there. And I think that would mean that now we can auto craft the nukes. I think that's how I did it before. So let's try get 18 of those. Yeah, there we go. So is it going to, it's going to start, oh no, it's going to do one of the nukes first. Now, I will have to take my personal charging off whilst I do this, because otherwise it will charge this up, and I don't know how it will hen handle the, uh, all of the MBT data, right? So we're, we'll take the personal charging off, which is fine. Is that making water? I don't want it to make water. I might have to get rid of that somehow. Right, I'm getting started on all of the chunk destroyers, so I need a bunch of gold. I, I have no idea how many I'm going to need. 
for this. So I'm just going to spam like a bunch of gold, lob it in like this. I don't know if I've done the calculations correctly, but fingers crossed, I can make myself 18 chunk destroyers. I hope I can. Uh, I I put all of the markers and stuff. Uh, if you're wondering where to get the markers, by the way, you just have to look through. Oh, you can double click and then it. There you go, 18. Perfect. You can double click and then it just crafts like all of them. Good to know. How the heck do I get? There you go. Tidied up after myself right there. Perfect. Now I just need to mine this up. So that is all of the chunk destroyers already finished. Lovely. Uh, I need to make micro missiles. Yeah. Quantum rings we've got. Oh yeah, I need the fire orbs and the lightning. It's really good that it's raining so much on the server right now. Because uh, it means I can go get like a bunch of these weather collectors. Now you do get eight of these lightning grenades. But as I said recently, I did use like a bunch of uh, lightning grenades to try and convert a villager into a werewolf villager. So... Light, neat, okay, there you go, I've only got five, and so I need like two crafts of this, so I'm going to go find one of those evil craft thingies and get myself bottled, whatever it is, because it doesn't matter if it's like any of these, because you can convert them, so you can convert the sunny day into uh, the rainy day, and then the rainy day into the Thunderstruck. So Beastie said that he is right next to one. Oh, thank you very much. T.Y. Uh, so I'm going to make it rain again. <laughs> oh, we were just complaining about how it was raining all the time on the server. I think someone earlier... Oh, I love that. Thank you. Someone earlier was um, doing some weather experiments because that's probably doing what I'm doing here. Because was constantly raining and then not raining and then raining and then not raining so oh hello the heck is that thing so it does feel like i need to be by this environmental accumulator until it's finished but i've had some issues with this in the past where it just like glitches a little bit and then it crashes my game i don't know if i should do this because it might crash the server but if it does crash the server it's fine because i can just i can reload the server right oh Oh, it got rid of nausea. Good. Yeah, and this gives you nausea when you're near it. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we crash the server. <laughs> I will hopefully turn the rain off again now, which is what I kind of wanted. Oh, that was close as well. If the clear drop thing happened at that point, that would have been very close. There you go. It's not raining anymore. Love it. Right. Now we can... Oh, in fact, I can just do this. There you go. We've got both of our Thunderstrucks. Do one of those, one of those, and then finally, there you go. We've got 21, so three of those going in the system. So th there's all the lightning bombs that we're going to need. Uh, the rest of this, uh, the last thing I need is these, these fire runes, obviously. I just realized that I had these the wrong way round. Yeah, so I was trying to put the ingots in the fluid one and the fluid in the ingots one. So, at extreme reactors. I, every so often I come back to this just to see what I'm doing wrong. And uh, I put that there. And then that should, over time, should start putting some in here. But it doesn't seem to want to do that. Which is a pain in the ass. Why is this not working? Oh, there we go. Yes, finally. And this is on as well. It is voiding power, I think, under here. Yeah, I've got my, my trash can. I'm trying to hide everything, but obviously I need to unhide everything so I can see it working. Now, this one is supposed to get the Rosaline or whatever it's, Rosanite, that thing. Oh, it's actually making some, some of that. Is this going in here? Why are you not going in here? I'm so confused. You should be going in here, unless it is. Oh, it is! Yes! Yes! Okay, it's working again now. Ooh! This is awesome. And then if I look in here and look at that one, yeah, we got Rossinite and uh, the this stuff, whatever it's called, Magentite. But then this one is it's, it's just not accepting the Magentite from here. I don't know why. That's <laughs> so weird. 
I have a feeling that like that it's got like some MBT values or something. So I need to. I don't know. I need to do something about that. Oh, it's working. It's actually getting the Rossinite. No way. Oh, right. Let's try this with Magen at extreme. There you go. Magentite. Is that going to work? Is that going to go up? It's been at 306 for like the longest time. Please say you're going to work. It doesn't like the Magentite that it's creating. This is so annoying. What the heck is going on? Okay, let's try it with uh, some speed upgrades. Are you going to go up? Nope. So, Thor is giving me 18 of the Infernal Forge Hammer thingies. Because that... Oh, hello. Is that 19? Okay, he's giving me 20. <laughs> he's giving me loads of them. Ah, oh, amazing. So, uh, I already have the Void Cores. I, I managed to borrow, borrow those off of uh, Mr. T, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, the hammers, oh, these are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Thor. I will pay you back as soon as I can figure out how to get the hammers. I believe that someone on the server has got like a spawner for the Cataclysm bosses. Apparently you can just swab them. I don't think I ever even tried to swab them because I assumed that you couldn't, but you can. So... Oh, this is amazing. So uh, now I just need to do half of, if we do, well, I don't know, that many. And I have the void cores, as I said. Thank Mr. T. Oh, I, I genuinely thought this would be a, you get the, the hammer back recipe, if I'm honest. But then I, I suppose I wasn't thinking about you know, servers and stuff, so maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, that should be a thing that you get the Void Hammer back, because otherwise, yeah, you're going to have to kill a bunch of bosses. But I suppose they're, like, trying to teach you how to kill those bosses, right? So with these Void Hammers, i put these away, I can now make all of the Wither Compasses. Uh, except I can't because I forgot I need to make more of these. Did I not make blood brick? I s oh, do you know what? That was the five minute rollback yesterday. <laughs> oh, was it? I'm confused now. I swear I had a bunch of these. Uh, okay, I need to get some more blood brick thing. Okay, I got all of the blood bricks together. There's all the wither compasses. Ah, sweet. So we are now down to the dimensional seed, which, ah, yes. I wonder now if I can make nether rack because someone upgraded my, uh, my crafters, didn't they? So what was it? Was it a five times or was it six times? Six times, I think, right? There's no way I'm going to be able to make 18 of these. I'm actually missing. Really? This has been going for ages, the nether seed. Oh, weird. Okay. I'm missing some nether essence. Fine. Uh, what about dirt essence? I'm guessing it's the same same boat. 6x, 18. Missing dirt essence as well. Oh dear. Uh, I might have to borrow that off Mr. T again, just because. We are kind of teaming. He is part of my team, so that, that sort of makes sense. We did have a rule saying that you can't really nick stuff off other people unless, you know, you're part of a team. So I'm making full use of that today. I think Mr. T has got everything. Um, I did set up an ME requester. Uh, request status left to shift. Okay, that one's crafting. This one's idle for now, but these two are crafting as well. I need to upgrade your storage, mate, because, oh, wow. Okay, what is this one? These all fill up. What the heck? Mr. T, look at all the stuff you've got. Jeez. Anyway, um, yeah, I've set up a requester with all of the bits. And I've set 18, please. So we should be able to come back and find all of these. Mr. T has got like a ridiculous amount. He's got like, uh, let's do diamonds. How much diamonds? He's got 20 million. So yeah, and he's got that over the past like couple of days. So it's ridiculous. Emeralds, yeah, 37 million. Again, all of these, I believe, come from these spawners over here. 
with the loop pinata. So instead of me setting those up, you guys kind of know what's going on with those those spawners, right? Got loop pinata with the swords, like and sweeping edge, all of that gubbins. So of course this this is going to fill everyone with dread me being in here because Greg. But we uh we need this to be. Uh, blasted now. I swear you could just smell in, uh, arcane debris before, but it needs to be blasted, which is fine. Uh, so I can at least grab, like, oh, I need 18 of these. It's taking its time. That's fine. Oh my god, looking at this now is like, what was I doing? Uh, mistakes you make when you don't know what you're doing, right? Ignorance is bliss. Let's do this, right. Now, uh, I still don't have all of the runes that I need. So, rune. Got 64 apparently, that's pretty good. So that's 8. Uh, but yeah, I need to get more runes. So, uh, I do have the mob imprisonment tool. So what I'm going to do is get the... Oh, I've got it in my, my base already, but... Plan is, I'm going to try and spawn these in using Essence instead. And then see what happens. Okay, hopefully this works now. Uh, oh, I should put the add-ons and everything. Add. There we go. Got all of the add-ons. I'll put these in over here. And the plan is, if we do this like that, when this gets some fluid, which it will get from the Mob Crusher, so all I need to do is turn on my Wither Spawner. Uh, and I need to do this. Why is it? What? Okay. Uh, that should produce some essence and a bunch of stuff right there. And there you go, we're getting runes as well. Because the essence from the wither is creating dead kings. And then the dead king is giving us some rune. Okay, it's been a little while, uh, must admit. And we've got our 18 fire upgrade orbs. Amazing. Um, I, as I said, I set the request up, right? I don't know if I did any of this on camera. It's been such a weird day because I've been cracking at this all day trying to get this uh, flipping thing done. So, yeah, there you go. All the fire orbs are, are ready to go. Is that everything we need? You got all of those, got all of those, got all of... Ah, micro missiles. Yeah, industrial foregoing plastic. <laughs> we could do that. Um, okay. I was literally just over at this area. I turned this off. I It didn't continue running when I was uh, offline. I think it's something to do with like the fluids. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, if you're not around, it doesn't actually do the thing. Plastic. There we go. We got a load of uh, the plastic. I just haven't set up any of the, the autocrafts for it. So I'm just going to... Get that on autocraft. Hopefully this has access to the plastic. It does. There we go. Sweet. Micro missiles. Oh, I'm out of TNT. Of all things, I'm out of TNT. Brilliant. There you go. Right. So we've got three. Do these stack? They don't. Lovely. Okay. Um, Let me just do this, and that way we can fill up our inventory up to this point right here. Micro missiles. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, fire charge. Thank goodness it's not something more pain in the bum to make. There you go. All of the micro missiles are <laughs> crafted. Fine. Right. I should go and uh, set up. Where is it? Uh, oh, it's this one, isn't it? This ball that I've got right here. Yeah, I should go set this all up. Again, I'm going to do it manually. It's probably a good idea. First thing I need to do is just turn off my wireless charging, because... Eh. That's all I need to do. I will put that back in later. It's just... Uh... Yeah, I don't want to charge the nuke, so if I take one of these out, it's not going to charge, which is perfect. Exactly what we want to see. Uh, and now, we just need to put all of these bits in. Uh, I'm going to try and put them in one at a time. 
So I'm going to put this in my backpack for now, and we'll we'll come back to doing that later. So let's do this. Oh, I can't do a flip in, bring into my inventory thing. Fine. So infinity nuke. Bio. Oh, fine. I'll figure out some way of like getting all of these items over here. Right. I've managed to lay this out. Perfectly fine, right here. Oh, I didn't get all the micro missiles, but other than that, micro. You know that I've got all of the micro missiles, right? So I could just let's put all of these in here, like this. There we go. So that's the entire recipe right there. Uh, this doesn't have enough pressure. So if we click on it, you can see it's only got a bit of pressure. Now we do know that this is going to make a lot of pressure. Uh, I might have to turn this on somehow. Why is this making, like, barely any pressure? Oh, it is going up. Did I time in the bottle this or something last time? Sounds about right. Pressure. There we go. That's a lot more pressure. So that should push this pressure up. I just need one of each of these. Like this. And that should put them in one at a time. Oh, I had speed upgrades last time, didn't I? That's why this was going so quickly last time. Speed. Uh, they might be in my other system. Like, a lot of stuff. I really got to combine both my, my systems. Because right now it's right pain. There you go. Oh, hello. Uh, I mean in it, <laughs> I wanted to do this because that means that this will have like lots of pressure. All of those things are in there. There's a pulsating black hole. Now it's going to be loud, so I'm going to do this all off camera. But again, I'm just going to grab one of each of these, stick them in here and so on and so on. Now, I was just setting up, if I do this, I was setting up this, this crafting pattern, and I just had a brainwave, a bit of an idea, and that is, I'm going to put each one of these in a different crafter, like this. And now if I do 18 of these, so didn't, I thought I cancelled that. I did, okay. Also, I'm not sure why I'm crafting some prediction matrices, because I have not even started with hostile neural networks, if I'm honest, but... Oh well. I'm sure someone's using my system, which is fine, on this server. So, let's do 18 of the 5x endstone. Is it 5x that you need for the seed? It is. Okie dokie. Now, I don't know if that's going to make it any quicker, me putting it in different crafters. But you can see, like... Like this one is crafting most of it, and then this one is, and so on and so on. But yeah, there we go. That's going to set off and craft us a bunch. Um, I did set up that thing at Mr. T's earlier, so I can tell you what, slash back. I just had a look. If we have a look in here, Mr. T what? Why has Mr. T got some crafting as well? Oh, no idea. Anyway. Um, I got all of the obsidian, so the obsidian is done. I thought that would be the most pain in the bum, to be fair. Locked request in progress. Oh, okay, cool. That's in progress as well. What about dirt and netherrack? That's a point. Dirt. Okay, dirt is not being crafted right now. Oh, netherrack is. Let's have a look at netherrack. Is it two R's? It is two R's. Okay, looks like this has just started on the netherrack. Why is this stopped? That's very strange. Right, let's cancel that. It should start it back up again. Ah, we can cancel that one as well. Huh. Awesome. Oh my goodness, that says it's going to take ages. This one's going to take two minutes. Okay. You know what? I think what we'll do is maybe when we got the emeralds and the diamonds out of this 
I might just nick a bunch of this netherrack somehow. And move it over to my system and craft it in my system. I think that might be easier. Flipping heck. This is what Mr. T... This is T's new controller. What the actual heckintosh is going on with this? <laughs> wow. That's all of the colours, right? Every single one of the colours. Including, like, plain. No, that one's black. Where's... Okay, that's the plain one. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, wow. And then... Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at it. It's ridiculous. Mental. Right. <laughs> right, a lot of this stuff has uh, been just set to autocraft now, so I just gotta wait for them to be completed. I did want to have a look at these though, miniature end portals, because it still has, oh, unless it's just a literal teleport core. I want to make one of these, I want to try and make one of the miniature end portals, for example, in this case. Can, oh, okay. Um, can I just make a regular, regular portal, what, a teleport core? Because I don't think these are working. Right, let's do four, and then... Uh, it doesn't seem to like it. Teleport core. How are you supposed to do this then? I thought they said that they made it so you could finally make the... Unless there's a way of making the Ender Infused one, but if we do this... Oh, you just... Uh, it's infusion crafting now. Okay, I like that. I think that's a good good change. Very good change, actually. Um, luckily, we don't have to do any of that because I already have all of the uh, portals because <laughs> I made them already. Why have I got like 18 miniature portals? Did I miss one? Oh, yeah, because I'm still waiting on the flipping insanite block. If I look in here, th these are still being crafted right here because this is now working over here. Woohoo! It's got some rossinite in there. And the magentite is going up, so this is working. These two right here are doing the job. Although that one seems to have stopped. Why have you stopped? I recorded, like, loads today, and, uh, yeah, we got really far. Except I can't fit it all in this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in tomorrow's video. And I know I said this for the past few episodes, but we are definitely getting the Starry Bee tomorrow. Unless, like, there's... A meteor that hits my house or something. So we're definitely getting it tomorrow and we're getting the block that goes with that bee so it can pollinate and then we can set up automated ATM stars and finally play the game. So thank you for watching, thanks for joining and I will see you in the next one. Bye!